Scene one, take one, common marker. We narrowed it down based on who had a really strong walk, presence. You can tell me um, people that you love, favorites. Madison. So I had a concept already, kind of like how I wanted um, my portion to look. Um, getting the jerseys and looking at the colorway kind of like um, made me rethink it a bit. Some of the challenges were that the jerseys totally did not match each other. They were all over the place in the, with the colors. I got nothing right now. Well, I want to like use all of the jerseys, all of the colors, and I want to use this traditional sporty like jersey and make non-traditional sportswear with it. Colors clashing at any point is really my least favorite thing as far as like my taste. Don't like things saying too much. I like a couple statements, maybe one strong one, but to have like multiple statements in one outfit is like scary to me. On my mood board here, I have the globe in the center. The reason I have that in the center is because before the internet, Soccer was my way of connecting cultures. It, it influenced everything for me. Looking at the overall mood of my shoot, like where I started was just football. As we started to like come up with the concept, there were certain key moments that stood out and styling opportunities. Soccer influenced the way I dressed growing up. It influenced uh, the way I connected with people and also I think was one of my strongest assets as a communicator with people. And soccer did that for me. Yeah. It really did. Right now I'm juggling a Adidas fashion show, a tour, wrapping up the news issue of Hot Snob. I can move that. Yeah, so I think for my segment of the show, I want to focus on like uniform. And I also want to focus on like relaxed tailoring. Well, my personal style is just like very simple, very clean. Like I love like, just like a pant, a shirt, and a jacket. Also, like not a lot of color. Like I'm, I'm very black and white. I want this guy to be a bit more mature, right? And I think you can take this jersey out of this like sports wear feel and like dress it up, finding ways to like still make it fun, but there's a bit of a like relaxed coolness to the guy. Um, usually to put out a new garment, it takes us about a week. We have a big team, we have a designer, we have a pattern maker, we have um, a studio manager that manages all the girls sewing. And, but we were trying to do 12 looks in four days. Yeah, it's got a bit of a surprise saying that we have one more model that's being added to the roster. So we don't exactly know where we're gonna place her yet. And we don't have any jerseys for her. Most of the time, I don't really get nervous. In the past, if there's like a setback, just make that mistake look perfect, like it was meant to happen. Runway is like a competitive sport, if you think about it. Who's the fiercest person on the runway? What's the fiercest look? They would be like the centerfold that you would want to rip out and put on your wall. It's like a competition. Soccer is a sport, runway is my sport. I don't know, I just, I'm obsessed with different textures. The challenge of making them blend together. Letting the creative process flow through me, not force it. The absence of color makes you have to focus on design. I like to like find ways to like be influenced by like your own imagination. Okay, do you know what's going on? The cat suit that we had planned to walk up first does not fit. Just, yeah, it doesn't, just doesn't fit. Yeah, too close. I think my biggest fear is that because I'm playing with tailoring, um, how that's going to look with only having like a fitting the day before the show. A bit higher. No, I kind of like that. Right? I don't know. I 
that cool. It's kind of like all ties it in to be like, okay, I'm here. It's my moment. You make sure your thermal comes out of your hand. Yeah, it comes out of the jacket. Like only having one fitting is a little bit like stressful in a sense because like I want everything to like fit perfect. Can you talk to us about what you've got going on over here? Not at the moment, actually. <laughs> How do you envision the hours going by up until fashion show day? Man, I don't know. I envision a perfect day, to be honest with you. It's hard for me to envision anything else. I know there's a lot of things that can go wrong, but for some reason, I just don't feel that this thing going anywhere else but good. So I'm saying, like, I, so I was asking him right now. I mean, either that one or just, I mean, it's 4.30 right now, bro. All right. Wow, that's so whack. So if like, I if would this say, would this say if I took if I took this off? She hasn't have, they yet. haven't gotten an answered yet. I'm actually really pissed about that because that that was like a really good moment in the show. We've been told um, two hours before the show that the like changes to be made, and so we're now we're trying to figure out how to make those changes. That's the, that, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. Basically, we were sewing right up until we left on the plane. A couple overnight uh, thoughts. You know, it's like fresh eyes. We were getting stuff last night, this morning. Don't no, let it out, it's long. And for the best. <laughs> The legacy that I want to leave is for like black designers to like have a space in the high-end fashion world. Yeah, I hope to inspire up-and-coming stylists and designers and reworkers. I really want to let the next generation know that like your past or like how you were raised has no dictation on like your future. I want to represent an idea of a person who wasn't supposed to be in the place that they are in and have that translate into motivation for other people. And as far as style is concerned, I don't really think there's a more stylish sport. Style is fierce. Style is empowerment. Style is language. Style is about being confident. Style is connection. Style is unique. Style is about being comfortable in your own skin. Style is Corey. Style is Pierre. Style is Sarah. Style is Drew. Style is me. What is style to you?